Hi, this is Jim McConnell coming to you from Light Alliance headquarters in Redmond, Oregon. We're doing a Chemist Corner today talking about, and this is questions we've been asked, and I've done this on Chemist Corners before, but what's the difference between bishema, dihema, and hema? In some locations, the question is coming up because there could be regulations imposed, mostly in the EU and the UK, regulating the use of anything that has the abbreviation H-E-M-A in it. Now, while I don't fully agree with um, those regulations, it's good for you to know what exactly bishema, dihema, and hema really, really mean. So in the case of, we have bishema. So bishema is the same thing as dihema. Oops. Hema. And then what is actually hema? So bishema and dihema are basically two hema molecules been used to cap an oligomer. So when we build an oligomer, we take a, a, a chemical, it's called a polyol, cap that with an isocyanate, and then we cap that with either a hema. Um, and then if there's two hema groups on there, it's bis. If it's two hema groups on there, it can also be dihema. Depends upon what kind of nomenclature the manufacturer of that resin registers with Inky in the EU. Um, HEMA itself is actually uh, 2-hydroxyethylmethacrylate, and the 2 tells us where the hydroxy portion is on the HEMA molecule, um, and this is actually the chemical that's used to make the bis-HEMA or dihema oligomer. Um, when we do that, uh, it makes that designation. In these cases, that hema molecule is pre-bound to the oligomer and it is not free hema monomer. Um, where if you have something that says hema or two hema, that, that is actually the free monomer and that is the product that should be regulated to a greater extent, minimizing the amount of hema that's used in that system. So um, that's the difference between bishema, dihema being the same thing and hema or two hema being the product that is the monomer that we're actually referring to. So if you have any questions, go ahead and give us a phone call or email us, and we'll be happy to answer those questions for you. Again, coming from Redmond, Oregon at LEHQ, this is Jim McConnell at Chemist Corner. Thank you.